We're joined right now on the phone by the new attorney for Mr. Zimmerman, Mark O'Mara, who is joining us now. We just found out this afternoon that he will be representing Mr. Zimmerman. Mr. O'Mara, uh, tell me your reaction, first of all, to the charges this afternoon. Well, again, I was surprised that she was charged and charging with second degree, but she knows the evidence. I don't yet, so it's sort of tough for me to comment on what I haven't seen yet. We'll just have to wait until the process works itself through. When you say you're surprised by that charge, why? Well, because, uh, again, she knows the evidence, but um, that type of crime sort of suggests that he did something truly unlawful, and I think the evidence so far suggested that there was at least question and controversy over what happened, but quite honestly, we really do need to wait to see what the evidence tells us. Have you had much time to really look over the case at this point, or are you really that new to it at this, at this juncture? No, sir, I truly am that new to it. I've seen only what has been shown in the media. I have had no other contact with the case, so it's really really difficult for me to speak at all authoritatively about the evidence and wouldn't be proper anyway. Uh, having a, I assume you've had a chat with Mr. Zimmerman without getting into any of the attorney-client privilege. Can you give us a sense of his mood? Well, um, I think he's, he's troubled by the fact that the state decided to charge him, but we're certainly going to prepare a defense. And I think that um, understanding what he has in front of him, he's doing okay. Would you say at this point that the key issue here is a question of self-defense? Because certainly that's what we've been led to believe so far. It seems that way to me from everything that I've seen from the media. Certainly that's going to be one facet of the defense, but I just have no idea yet. What is the next step right now, uh, Mr. O'Mara? When, when do you go to, to court, or what, what is the next thing that we should be looking for? There will, there will be a bond motion hopefully by tomorrow when a judge will review the, at least some of the facts of the case and decide how and under what conditions to release Mr. Zimmerman. And then what would you expect after that? I mean, one, it has to go one way or the other, but then you prepare for the next phase, which I assume is at some point him entering a plea. Well, he'll enter a plea if not guilty, like any criminal defendant would do at this stage of the proceedings. And then we go through a round of discovery, which is where we actually find out about the case, which gives us a lot more information than I have now. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and do you have any idea what kind of time schedule will be on for all of that? I, you obviously have a very steep learning curve at this point. Um, absolutely, but I, I intend to get caught up to see pretty quickly. The state is under an obligation to start getting into discovery no less than the next, after the next 15 days. I anticipate... The prosecutor and I will be having conversations about getting that information to me as soon as possible, and we'll work through it. Are you concerned at all about the degree of public attention this case has had, in particular in areas like Sanford where there have been marches in the street and rallies and people calling for, for justice? Yes. Any, any high-profile case adds a lot of extra elements to it, a lot of extra problems to it. Whether or not the case can be tried in Seminole County is one. And the fact that it gets so much focus and so much attention, people tend to overanalyze and microanalyze it so that every decision is suggested to have significance when it may not. It's just part of a lengthy process that we're just now getting started. But I do need to run. Um, don't mean to cut this short, but um, I actually have many people right outside my office waiting for me to walk out the door. As well, I can imagine. Uh, Mark O'Mara, the <laughs> attorney for Mr. Zimmerman, thanks so much for joining us here. We'll be checking in with you in the future. Thanks for being with us. Next on Out Front, our breaking news coverage of George Zimmerman's arrest. We bring in our legal experts to break down the case further. And another big story we've been following, North Korea. The window to fire that rocket is now open. How soon before liftoff? And will it bring us into a brave, bold, scary new world? Stay with us. We have live pictures right now. There is Mark O'Mara, who we spoke to moments ago on this program, holding a press conference down there in New Orleans, uh, in uh, Florida, where he's talking about this case. He is the new attorney representing George Zimmerman. And to recap what he told us, uh, he's very new to the case right now. He's trying to figure out what they're going to do. He's certainly going to plead self-defense. His client will certainly plead not guilty, he says. There are some concerns about venue, whether or not they can get away from this glare of publicity around the case and find a jury that they think can be fair in this case. He, he says it's going to be very complicated for a while here, but for the next couple of weeks, he's going to be a very, very busy man. We're going to be busy monitoring his press conference, and uh, we'll try to bring you some more of his comments from that later on to bolster what he told us just a short while ago. I'm going to interrupt you for a minute because we're going to dip in for a moment to this presser we mentioned just a minute ago with Mark O'Mara. He's saying some things we want you to hear. The emotions are just running high in all of Central Florida. 
Um, but we'll see as we get closer to the point where we're resolving it. We don't even know if we're going to have a trial. What's going to happen tomorrow in a Seminole County courtroom? My hope, um, if I can get back in my office and finish the work, um, that we're going to have a bond motion hearing set by a judge. Uh, an, an initial appearance will be held. and At that point, the judge can consider what to do with the then existing bond schedule of no bond, which is what Seminole County has as a bond schedule for a second degree murder. Uh, and that we can convince him or her that a bond is appropriate. What time is the hearing? You have one it's set? not set yet. I think that the... Uh, it it may be at 9 o'clock, maybe at 1.30. I do not know that yet. We'll know that in the morning. Mark, his, his former attorneys made him sound a little frantic. Mm -hmm. How did he sound to you? How was his voice? He is troubled by everything that has happened. And, and I cannot imagine living in George Zimmerman's shoes for the past number of weeks. Uh, uh, it, only because he has sort of been at the focus of a lot of um, anger and maybe confusion and maybe some hatred. Um, and that's got to be difficult. I mean, truly, it must be frightening to not be able to go into a 7-Eleven or into a store and literally to be, in effect, a prisoner in wherever he was. So uh, that would trouble all of us. And I'm sure that he's wearing some of the you know, the fallout from that. Did he sound okay, though? Did he sound like he's lost it? He was rational to me. Uh, he understood what I was saying. I understood what he was saying. Um, we're communicating well. We'll Mark, see. I have no idea other than that. Is this the other attorney case? said he was, you know, some people described it as going rogue and it wasn't returning calls and was putting up a website. Did you have that conversation? Like, you have to, if I'm going to represent you, we got to do this my way. I think... Mr. Zimmerman and I have a good understanding of what I can offer to him and how he can best allow me to be a good lawyer for him. And I think that there were, may have been some misunderstandings or confusions or maybe even some inaccuracies with the way um, the last couple of days went from Sunday to Tuesday. That, that, that doesn't sit well with me. What advice did you give him today? Stay calm. Listen to my advice. <laughs> Which was what? which was to stay calm. And as I give you advice in the future, um, I sort of am the professional in doing this. Um, and I'm only gonna give him good advice after I think it through. And we'll, we'll be working together. He's obviously a significant part of the defense team. And there's a lot that you know he can do to keep things on track as well. And he seems very willing to listen and to you know do what we have to do to move forward. Are you gonna Mark, meet him in person form. tonight or are you gonna wait until tomorrow? Uh, again, he's in law enforcement custody right now, so I don't have as much free access to him. Um, they are going to grant me access as soon as we are within the same geographical area, and um, I'm presuming that's going to happen hopefully tonight, but I don't know that. Mark, as this moves forward, what do you do to make sure he stays safe? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, you know, uh, first thing is I reach out to the community and say he's been charged, he's been arrested, He's a criminal defendant now. Let the process work. Do not, let's not prejudge anyone any longer. Let's just let the process work. There's a, a lot of high emotions. Maybe some of them have been salved by the fact that there has been an arrest. Well, let's just let the process work. You know, the worst thing that can happen in this case is that it doesn't get tried properly where it's supposed to. Because then no matter what the result where it does end up getting tried, the media, the public or whatever, it's not going to be a proper result. Give us a chance to do it the way it's supposed to be done. Have they said whether or not he'll be in confinement when he gets to Seminole County? I would presume because, again, of some of the high emotions of the case that they are going to have in what they call protective custody, that they will keep him safe and separate until we get a better chance to figure it all out. Are you worried about your safety now? Um, I, no, I don't believe so. I'm, I'm, I'm a criminal defense attorney. I've done it a long time. I'm doing a job. He is a client who has a lot of hatred focused on him right now. I, I'm hoping that the hatred settles down now that we're sort of moving forward. I truly hope none of it's focused on me. I, you know, it's just, I, quite honestly, without getting on a soapbox, this is what I'm supposed to do. He's been charged with a crime. We have rules, we have laws, we have constitutions. The victim's family has absolute rights to be involved in the process. He has rights to his own safety and to the case being tried properly in front of a judge, jury, prosecutor, negotiations, whatever. This just, it doesn't need to be tried with somebody hating him 
or throwing a, you know, something somewhere. Let's just try it where it's supposed to be tried. What if it's like in some way? Typically, with some of those charges, would you expect a bond would be set and a reasonable bond that they could afford? Would that be normal in these circumstances? Uh, I, I would say if you looked at, at a percentage that bonds are normally granted in second degree murder cases. And we do know that there are questions about, just from what the media has stated, that there are questions about how it happened. Um, so I think that also lends to the suggestion that maybe he should be out. I want him out because I need him out to help me in my defense. So very selfishly, I want him around so I can have free access to him because he's, again, an integral part. Um, I think he'll, I hope he'll get a bond that's out of my hands is up to a judge. But you'll ask for him. Absolutely. Mark, do you feel like in some way Zimmerman is better off being charged to let the system work? This is what people were screaming about. Oh, I think he'd be better off if they decided not to charge him. But understandably, you know, again, she had all the evidence, uh, and I trust her to have been a good prosecutor. I'm not going to second-guess her decision when I don't even have any of the evidence. I'm not going to be presumptuous, and I'm not going to jump up and say she's wrong. When will you get it? She's a good prosecutor. We'll see what happens. When will you start getting it? Basically, within 15 days of the date that this has happened, um, we'll start having an information flow. I'm presuming... That's Mark O'Mara, the new attorney representing George Zimmerman in this highly contentious case down in Sanford, Florida. We've been covering for so many weeks now. I want to return to our conversation here with Sonny Hostin and with Paul Callan.